Hello, my name is Johnny Million, and this is going to be a video of uh, Pasta Flores number 11. Uh, it's just going to be a short video, maybe half hour long or so, just to let you know where the location is, where it's located, and also uh, a few things inside that um, you probably are going to have questions about, uh, appliances and that sort of thing. So here we go. This is the road from Casino behind the restaurants. It's going to come back here. And you're gonna pass this residence here. One that's called Sunshine Cottage. The other one, Exora. I believe it's the name or the way you pronounce it. And the next one here on the right is gonna be Pasa Flor. This is the building of about, I don't know, about probably like 12 units. I've never counted them before, but there's about 12 units up here. I'm just going to take you back here to where the pool is so you get an idea of how to get back here. Um, it's locked, so you need a key that you'll get whenever you get the other keys. And don't be alarmed by the dogs, they are just keeping watch. So there's a pool. He's up there. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. This dog right here is a neighborhood dog also. Her name is Bea. Bea! So if you see her, she's very timid at first, but then she warms up to you and she'll greet you every time you come up to the place. Right, Bea? Cool. <laughs> and she lives in this purple plum color unit on this side. Uh, we're gonna be on this side here. What I said, pass the floor 11. Just go up the steps. Uh, there's not designated, well, there is designated parking spots, but nobody really pays attention to them. Ours is the second one right here. Uh, as you can see, the one with the closed shutters is ours, and we'll talk about those later. Um, one thing, or first thing, that we should talk about is the keys they're a lot bigger than what we're used to in the states they're huge actually but um <clears throat> the way to open the door is just go stick in there all the way to the right and it opens that way but i'm also going to show you how and this is the interior as soon as you walk in you'll see this uh but let me go back here to the lock again um Gently just turn it to the right, you'll feel that it, it doesn't go any further. Just lift up the handle very easily, boom. Put pressure on both the key and the handle at the same time. And to unlock, you don't have to have your hand on the handle at all, you just turn, click, pull it out, unlock. So one more time, in, turn, so it doesn't turn anymore. Just keep pressure on this, on the key. I put pressure on that at the same time. Bingo, bongo. And it's, it's locked now. Uh, it's unlocked again, just twist and out. And you got a doorbell right here as well. Okay, pass the floor 11 Lava Bell. You enter and so, first thing you'll come up to on the left here is the bathroom. And it's quite small. I'll turn on the light for you. Small, it's got a square toilet. You put a square one on there. 
I guess just for aesthetic values, it sort of looked cool. And it matched the, the little bathroom here. But right, we got a few things up here. There's cabinets oh. there and there. And what you need to know about this toilet is, like I said, it's square. It's a little, I guess, just different from what we're used to. But a lot of things around here are. <laughs> so uh, that's why I'm doing this video. Uh, so there's two buttons here to flush. This right one is the one I always use because it flushes quickly. This other one here seems to last longer so more water is used. But they're both, both I guess, just about the same. Um, you can hear the tank filling. If you see that water still running down here, you just have to push the button a couple of times like that and poke at them until the, the damper falls in and, and it starts filling up. Uh, like I said, you shouldn't have water coming down here. So um, right now there isn't, as you can see. But if there is, just push these buttons, usually the one on the left, to uh, have the damper fall and fill the tank. Uh, the light switches are rocker type switches. So that's that. Uh, there's a little sink there. And it also locks here very easily. It's just one of these turn ones there. Bang. All right. So, uh, you got this here, which is just a little storage area. There's nothing in there. I mean, you guys can look if you want, but you're not going to find much. Just cleaning junk and junk. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's that. I just usually leave that there. This makes for a little seating area, or I usually just put my book bag or something after a day at the beach. Just throw it on there. Kick off your sandals there. Um, so this light, these lights here, they stay on all the time. There's two levels to them. This is the bright level, and here's a switch to it, this little round one. I just tap it one time, and it goes down, but not completely, just very low. They don't go completely off. I do, at nighttime, I leave these on as just like a night light, and just have them on very low, and I turn everything else off. And then in the mornings or when I need light, I just turn them back on by hitting that round button one time. And this light switch here above that one works the lights underneath the um, cabinets there. So that's that. This is the uh, circuit board. This light switch here works these hall lights. So that's those right here above, which is an air conditioning unit above there also.